So you're starting off with X amount of dollars and you're ending with X amount of dollars. So your bar should never, your bank should never be over or under. It should be exactly the same amount when you open the bar and close the bar after you take the profits out. So that would be your bank. Now to move on, let's talk about the soda gun. The soda gun. If you see, now again, all the soda guns might be a little different, but they uh, might indicate the same lettering for different companies, okay? If you see an L on a soda gun, nine out of 10 times, that would be lemon lime soda. So it can be Sprite, it could be 7-Up, it could be Sierra Mist, but we care about the lemon lime soda, okay? C could be cola, it could be Pepsi, it could be C and C. So basically C normally means cola. Uh, if the gun says soda, now a lot of bartenders get confused about this. If the gun says soda, we are talking about club soda. If a person in your, a guest in your bar comes in and says, let me get a glass of soda, they're not talking about Coca-Cola. They're talking about club soda. Soda at a bar means carbonated water, club soda, okay? Not to be confused with tea, which is tonic. Tonic and club soda are completely different. Both are carbonated waters, but tonic it has a mineral in it, which is quinine. So it's a bittersweet kind of a taste. So that would be tea, uh, tonic. And then Q also means quinine. So it could be either tea or Q. You make, make sure you ask from your bar manager, which is what, okay? And then G is for your ginger ale. D is for Diet Coke. Then you have water. That's your normal tap water. And you might have some extra gun, uh, extra buttons in the gun. And that usually is because um, sometimes the bars have their juices in the gun as well. Uh, most bars uh, like to keep them separate. So here we're going to keep them separate and show you how we're going to keep our juices as well. Um, just so if you are following along with the manual, everything that I'm going over, you're going to be writing it in. Um, the other thing is the juices that we're about to go over. This would be the first two uh, sections, which are right here, right next to me, the speed rack. So the first two are going to be the bottom two. Okay. If you're filling it in, it'll be great information for you to get everything going. Uh, okay. So which do you think are the most two important juices or the most uh, used ju juices at a bar, orange and cranberry. So your first juices that should be right accessible to you should be orange and cranberry. Now it doesn't matter if they're on other sides as long as they're on the first row. So that's why I was mentioning the book. You got to put them in that circles I was pointing out. Now we got orange and cranberry. What are the next two juices? The next two juice would be pineapple juice and Sour mix. Yes, sour mix. Um, what is sour mix? Sour mix is basically a man-made juice. It is used a lot in our cocktails for margaritas to Long Islands to Amaretto Sours, stuff like that. But basically, if you wanted to make sour mix at home, just so you know, you need sugar, you need water, you need lemon juice, lime juice, and orange juice. Okay, you make your own sour mix, drinks are going to be 10 times better. Uh, why do not? Uh, why do some uh, most bars not make their own sour mix? Because it's really time consuming and it is very cheap to just go buy outdoors. Of course, it's not the same quality from the stores. So if you do make your own sour mix, you're really going to love those cocktails because you're putting a fresh ingredient in there. Okay, and the last two, guys, the last two is basically the least used juices in our bar industry. I personally don't even set them up, but I keep little cans or a little things in the fridge for, which is grapefruit juice. Yes, the grapefruit juice. And the other one is milk. Yes, we still have milk cocktails out there. They're not as popular. Cream cocktails are not popular, but we still like to teach you how to set them up that way. So that would be basically how to set up your juices. Um, now, if you were working at the bar, you would just take this whole thing and you would lay it on top of your jockey bin where the ice is. So now it would be staying nice and cold for when you are serving the customers. So that was your soda gun and that was your juices. Now what I would like to do is go over your speed rack with you. Now, 
the speed rack is basically your best friend. The speed rack is what's going to make you faster and better uh, when you're serving guests. Everything on the speed rack that I'm about to mention, most of all the bars in the country set up their speed rack like this. There are some other variations to them. For example, if you're busy at another bar, they might keep the bottle of Kettle One. If they use a lot of Kettle One, they're gonna, they might keep it on their speed rack as well. So speed rack is only there for you to basically speed your, your drinks up. But there is a way uh, most bars do set up. And again, uh, if you are if you have the manual, make sure you write them in. So this will be better uh, training for you when you go back and read your notes. You'll see everything laid out the way they're supposed to be. So uh, let's go over the speed rack. The first bottle that's going to be on your speed rack, it may not be this brand, but it would be vodka. The first bottle on the speed rack is always vodka. All right. Now, just to go over a little bit about the alcohol as well. Vodka, just so you know, is mo majority of the good vodkas are made from potato, okay? Um, second thing you should know about vodka is vodka is the only alcohol that does not have any flavor. It is neutral. So as bartenders, we love vodka. When somebody says, oh, make me something, we can take vodka and mix different flavors to it and it will be great. So vodka is good for that reason. Um, bottle number two is gin. All right, nice bottle of gin here. Uh, bottle number two is gin. Gin is made from juniper berries. Um, and um, that's your bottle number two. Bottle number three. Bottle number three is rum. Rum. Does anyone know what rum is made from? Rum is made from sugar cane. So bottle number three is rum. Bottle number four, tequila. Bottle number four is tequila. Tequila is made from blue agave. Uh, tequila is from Mexico. And that is your bottle number four. So guys, make sure you understand this. Being a good bartender, you have to get your basis right. In our industry, our base is our speed rack. So when somebody comes to and orders a drink to you, there's no need to look down and look for that bottle. As they're set up on, on the speed rack, you should be able to touch them and know bottle number one, vodka, bottle number two, gin, bottle number three, rum, bottle number four, tequila. So this way you're moving as uh, faster and you look really professional because you don't even need to look down to know what you're grabbing. So that's how good you gotta be. So make sure... If anything, the first thing or the first day you memorize your speed rack, it will make your life so much easier for the whole lesson. All right. So continuing after the four bottles, vodka, gin, rum, tequila, the fifth bottle is triple sec. For the ones that, need, uh, that don't know what triple sec is, just so you know, the majority of the alcohol or majority of the triple sec out there does not have alcohol in it some do majority of them don't triple sec is basically a orange flavored syrup that's what i consider it uh so it's basically a orange flavored syrup bottle number six is lime juice sweet lime juice um roses is the company that's really popular that provide the lime juice roses lime juice bottle number six bottle number seven we have grenadine 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 is a pomegranate syrup. Yes, a lot of people think it's cherry, but it's really not. It's a pomegranate syrup. There is no alcohol in it. So just so you know, bottle number five, bottle number six, bottle number seven, they're all syrups. Okay. And then we have some optional bottles here. Some people put them on their speed rack. Some people don't. Uh, I personally recommend to put it, <clears throat> excuse me, on the speed rack because it makes your drinks a lot more faster, which would be peach snops, peach snops, which is, which is a peach flavored liqueur and apple puckers, which is a apple flavored liqueur. Okay, so I normally keep nine bottles on my speed rack and that's the way we do it. Vodka, gin, rum, tequila, alcohol, triple sec, lime juice, grenadine, syrups, 
Pete Snobs and Apple Puckers, liqueurs. What is the difference between liqueur and liquor? Liqueur has more of a um, sugar factor in there and less of the alcohol, and the liquor is all alcohol, okay? That is your speed rack, that is your soda gun, and that is your bar surrounding. Make sure you remember or make sure you get into that speed rack and try to memorize it before the next lesson.